Do you think that there's large misconceptions about the social movements today? I absolutely think there are misconceptions. Wherever marginalized people take our own power back and are authoritative and have agency, you will have narratives that misinform the mainstream public about who we are and what we stand for. So over the summer, as an example, during the um, uprising that we saw this summer in places like Minneapolis after the killing of George Floyd and Louisville, Kentucky after the killing of Breonna Taylor and Florida after the killing of a black trans man named uh, Tony McDade, we saw a narrative start to spread that we were violent, um, that we were the real racists, right? That we were uh, looters. And so uh, we've seen those misconceptions be quite common and they are always associated with uh, black people, brown people, indigenous people, LGBTQ folks, disabled people, low-income folks, immigrants, standing up for what is ours. Dr. King said a riot is the language of the unheard. So instead of uh, dismissing what people may perceive as the symptoms, we should actually kill the virus at its root and get down to what is actually causing this level of frustration. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.